Coach, thoughts on your team's performance in a 3-1 win this evening? Uh, well, I think we played a, a solid game. I think we, uh, you know, we only gave the opponent one goal, and it bounced off our defenseman skate, went right to their guys. So it was tough to uh, to take that away. Uh, you know, we're, we're missing off in the lineup. I think some guys have stepped up. I really like uh, Bailey today. I really did. I think he's uh, smart, uh, real reliable defensively in the right places, uh, and also with the puck. I like his poise. I like his reliability. So that was uh, that was a really good call up. So, um, but obviously we got a lot of guys. Smitty played one of his best games, I think, and uh, he was uh, he was on the line with uh, Brass and uh, and Stone and basically. Uh, replaced Hoff there, and uh, I thought he did a great job. He's responsible for that uh, uh, Broussard goal that was tip, and uh, of course he gives us that that uh, breather goal at the end. But he deserved it both ways, uh, so I, I thought he was terrific tonight. And you mentioned those contributions. What about uh, the play of Curtis Lazar since his return to the lineup? Yeah, you know what? What's good now is you can really see that he's picked up the pace. Like he, he he's at uh, he's at his NHL pace right now. He's getting more and more comfortable with who he's playing, how we play. Um, I love the fact he's first on puck. He pushes their D back. Uh, uh, he's had quite a few shots now that uh, look dangerous. He, he forces himself inside, and he's reliable defensively. So. Yeah, no, I think we've uh, we definitely gained a player there. So I, there's a lot of good stories today without, you know, being outrageous stories that uh, um, I think this was a good team win. Uh, Mark Borvietsky's return to the lineup. Can you just talk about what that does to stabilize your blue line and get the pairings back together? Well, you, you could see what he does. I mean, it's very hard when he's on the ice and the other team's trying to get through the neutral zone. They got to have a heads up. He's, uh, you know, he's the number one hitter in the NHL. And uh uh, it, it's tough to play against that. You, you have that in your mind the whole time. I thought Neeler tonight also had a few uh, a few good body checks and Page and uh, um, so I thought we were uh, physical enough to make sure that we uh, we took away some of their forecheck because that's their that's their thing. They got some fast guys and they're able to get a deep there on you and uh, we tried to take that away. Thanks, coach. coach. Last weekend you went back to back with Condon on on the weekend. Right? And you made a decision for no, no. Well, I got to go back now and uh, talk to goalie coach and uh, just uh, see where uh, see where this game was and uh, see uh, see what we got for tomorrow. We'll make a decision tomorrow. Sort of a textbook third period yeah. shutdown. Yeah, the way you yeah, yeah. yeah. I think winning teams that's what they're able to do. You know, uh, I, I like that uh, twice we took away back doors, which has hurt us lately. And in, in, you know, whether it's the LA game or it's the uh, San Jose game. Uh, I really like that we had a, a backdoor box out mentality. Um, CC saved one, uh, FNF saved one. Uh, our forwards were really looking for that backdoor guy, which they had tonight. So uh, I think uh, I think we got better today. I, I really do. And you're right. It's you're you're right on. This is a, a solid third period shutdown period where we didn't give much there. Oh, oui, absolument. Tu sais, quand on regarde, on n'a pas eu un, 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 nos performances, là, à part euh, la dernière période de Los Angeles, puis les trois à Naheim. Euh, le reste, là, on, a joué du, on a joué du bon hockey. Là. Gagner ou perdre, là, on, a eu, on a joué du bon hockey. Fait on n'a pas eu de, 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 de vrais gros trous là, où l'équipe euh, s'effondrait, puis on ne savait pas ce qui se passait. Alors, on a joué contre des, des opposants de qualité sur la route, dans l'Ouest, qui, qui est le voyage le plus difficile. Et puis, on n'a juste pas été content comment c'est fini, mais garde, euh, je suis très, très content. Quand on regarde les équipes qui reviennent des longs voyages habituellement, ils, sont, sont, ils ont de la difficulté le, le premier match de retour. Et puis, on n'a pas eu de difficulté contre saint nosé Nos gars étaient vraiment prêts, puis ce match-là aussi. Alors, je pense qu'on va oui, définitivement euh, retrouver ce qui fait de nous autres une équipe difficile à battre. Demain contre les Highlanders, avec la route, un deuxième match en 24 heures. Quelles sortes de matchs qu'on peut s'attendre? Et aussi, est-ce qu'il y aura des changements à l'alignement? Ah, ben écoute, les changements d'aliments, on va regarder, mais euh, c'est sûr que quand tu joues un back-to-back -back, ou ce que tu dois voyager après un match, là, on n'aura pas de morning skate, on va se rendre euh, directement euh, au match, euh, enfin nos meetings à, à l'hôtel et tout ça, on va essayer de sauver le plus d'énergie possible parce que les joueurs ne seront pas couchés avant 3 heures du matin. Là. Alors c'est sûr que euh, sur ce côté-là, il va falloir être intelligent. Les back-to-back, les, les -back, on ne peut pas commencer à se lancer partout, puis il euh, faut absolument avoir des joueurs qui, euh, euh, qui sont là sur le repli défensif, qui ont rendu c'est difficile pour l'adversaire. Euh, on ne peut pas avoir cinq gars qui font un check et se brûler après une période. C'est clair que ça, c'est la mentalité des back-to-back -back habituellement.